Good evening, Pronksters, and welcome back to the Pronkcast, the only podcast in the universe, Steven Universe, that is. I'm Pronk1. And I am Pronk2. I haven't seen, like, Steven Universe since when the episode where, like, it's where they where uh, Garnet's, like, split in two uh, on the hand ship. That's um, yeah, season that's, one. That's really which, far back. Yeah. I, like, I just <laughs> hey, didn't really remember? watch that season one. Well, didn't season one take years to release? Jim, would you be? You're, 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 say that again. You were cutting out. If you were a crystal gem, which crystal gem would you be? I would be Amethyst. Is is this like the characters or just like like crystals? The characters. The characters. I'd be. Uh, uh, look, they're all kind of shit. If I had to be but, one, that's harder than just saying my favorite. Um, <laughs> like I don't want to be any of them. The crystal gems, but it's Brock. Like I Pearl feel is like a bitch. Garnet or amethyst. Uh, I feel like I just would be Steven. <laughs> like, yeah. That's the answer I expected, because it's true. Yeah. Thank, thank you. I take that as a compliment. It is. Definitely I love you very much. Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> like we said in the first episode, make art of us, please. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet. We need to see each other kiss. <laughs> we need to see each other. We've done it in real life. We don't know what it looks like from a third-person perspective. That's so <laughs> that. Caitlin does. Yeah. But we don't. Except for that one time where we recorded it. That's true. And then sent That's so true. Away. And then... <laughs> oh, yeah. You could yeah, probably... Dude, I love Steven. Birthday party. Mm-hmm. That's true. I love Steven Universe. So. <sighs> love Steven oh. Universe. Good right. show. Don't know why. Uh, okay, I think the it, crystal it, gem I would be is the lion because I don't really like. That's, it that's not even a gem. I <laughs> don't just care. A lion. It was just resurrected by rose quartz. I don't care. I just don't like fucking pearl or garnet, and that's okay. That's you're paradox. You're not. No, you have no choice in the matter. You're just your paradox now. Uh, you're I guess I would be, but does she count? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she's a proud <laughs> member. Well, I guess you wouldn't even know because you haven't even like. Well, I know Paradox joins. Like, I know who okay. Paradox is. I just don't. I haven't seen it. She gets uh, short, like, so it's funny. Listen, <laughs> I'm not even the shortest <laughs> member of the no, punk. No, yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I was just saying that as Paradox. I went to the doctor today and learned my actual height. That was yeah. interesting. I'm What's just. It? I'm just. I'm just a sliver under six foot. That is same you're here. like two inches taller than me. Shut up. <laughs> no, yeah. Like the height difference is fucking garnet and pearl at most. D- when did I call you short? You was, that's why you. you I you just said so, no, no. I that's not we why we called I, you paradot because you weren't picking. You're fucking else. paradot, and you're and you're paradot, and you're I very say, easily angered. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I didn't say because you were short. I just added in that Paradox becomes short uh, without her like prosthetics or whatever. Her extension things or whatever. Her quote unquote limit answers. True. Yeah, that's right. Those are so cool though. Like the, the screens yeah. they make. She used them as a helicopter sometimes. <laughs> oh, wasn't there like a dog helicopter? Dog copter. Yes, dog copter. Dog-copter. Dude, Dogcopter is awesome. Remember Breakfast mm-hmm. Pals or whatever? I don't. Dude, that was awesome. Cookie Cat. He's a pet for your time. God, I fucking... Cookie Cat. The cookie he's super, he's super duper yummy. Cookie, cookie, cookie cat. cat. He left his family behind. Yeah. Cookie, cookie Cat. cat. I'm gonna be honest. I think part of the reason I don't want to watch Steven Universe is just because I can't fucking stand his voice. I mean... It changes. He gets older. <laughs> yeah, so have I. <laughs> yeah, you're still intolerable. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I 
No, but yeah, I, I, I love Steven as a character is awesome. Mm. Like the first, it, it's a, it's interesting to see a show go from like the first season of just being mostly nonsense to becoming this fully fleshed out universe with so much lore. It's hey, awesome. Ethan, hey, Ethan, Dragon Ball. Yeah. Yo. Dragon Ball. I go I Dragon Ball. Dragon these balls. Fantastic journey. Dragon Ball. Listen. The fucking original Dragon Ball goes so hard. So that's fact. <sighs> Freaking original I, Dragon Ball makes me so hard. Uh, it's. Uh, yeah. I just want the humans to be relevant. Um. For, uh, so I'll be in a upcoming D and D campaign. <gasps> And my character has a uke, and I got it cleared with the DM that I can use it during the session. My my uke, my real life uke during the session, as my character uses the uke. And I just thought that was cool. You can say That's ukulele. Odd. It's okay. I yeah, but no, uke it's is not just... slur. Like uke sounds just ugh, sounds like cucumber at best. You sound like, like cucumber cute at worst. Aster sounds like ass. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> this okay. man, but ass is a good what one. long, hard, and has come in the middle. A penis. <laughs> no, no, oh no, it's a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, never heard this. Yeah, there's probably a reason for that. <laughs> No, One no, second, no, I'm gonna go no. turn my fan on at higher speed. Hell yeah! I I You're recently fan on? I recently figured out a name for my character in a D and D campaign that I will be in that Ethan will be running, <laughs> and it it came. To, what the fuck? It came to a drink. Did you just try to fucking steal my <laughs> gimmick? No, no, I just said I just You're went stealing his <laughs> gimmick. Okay, dude. Okay. Oh. Unintentionally, but um, yeah. What the, the character's fuck? name, like the character's name, came to me in like a fit of panic, like it was <laughs> like a a fever dream, and and I hate to break it to you guys, but it fits the troll naming convention. <laughs> and I and I'm really glad that we're getting the Homestuck reference out there real early, so that we don't have to be mad about it. mm Hmm. That's it. I um, did not mean for it to fit the troll naming convention. Okay, what's your character's name? Harlan Sirk. Mind spelling that? Uh, oh, so I can. Uh, I assume. Okay, wait. Let me quick type it out in the how I think it's gonna be. T- it's gonna be spelled. I, you is said that, Harlan. Right? Yeah, Harlan Sirk. S i r k. No, S C I R Q U E, like Cirque du Soleil. Uh, yeah, okay. it means Cirque. Oh, that makes sense for your character. Could you play a song? I don't know though. I could be anybody who performs in the Cirque du Soleil in a fight. No, you couldn't. I think I you're don't underestimating. Know how that. true that is, though. I could beat Paul Blart in a fight, and he performed in the Cirque du Soleil once. <laughs> Well, he, wait, not. Paul Blart was in Cirque du Soleil? <laughs> Have you not watched Paul Blart Mall Cop 2? <laughs> I think I've only seen the first one. I don't remember either of them. <laughs> not For some lie. reason, the Cirque du Soleil is, is fucking happening in this mall that he's in. <laughs> and he just shows up and bumbles his way through it. <laughs> that dude, both, seems very in character. Dude, the first Mall Cop movie and the second one are the same, and so I don't remember which His one mom was dies. <laughs> Paul Blart's mother is hit by a milk truck in Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. 
the fact I don't remember that happening speaks volumes for the fact that the movie was not memorable for that reason. I only remember the fact that that is a movie because I get to see Big Man be funny cop and to pass out and eat, eat a Snickers. <laughs> That's all I remember from those movies. I haven't seen those movies in forever. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, rem- you guys remember the ant? Uh, the question I asked before Pronk? Uh, no. Uh, What's your favorite no. Goomba from the Mario series? Fucking oh, right. The first one from Goomba? 1-1. From the hmm. original 1-1. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Favorite Goomba? Yeah. Yeah, favorite Goomba. Okay. Stuff. What other Goombas are there besides just the normal? Like, you know, you've got like Galoombas, you've got Lots, Skull yeah. Goombas. Oh, you mean like, There's okay. So many Goombas. I thought you were just saying just Goomba. Like, I didn't know Gal- Galoomba and stuff was a part Dude, of that. It was an open ended question on Goomba. purpose, Ethan, Dude, go obviously. Page, go to the wiki page for Goomba. It lists variants. Oh, yeah, there is the, ch- like the fucking Chumba where it's like a train from Mario Bowser's Inside Story. Um. Hmm. Boomerang, brother, that sounds funny. That Let's is funny. See. Oh, it's not, mm-hmm. it's only Brother. mentioned, but it's that, okay, sure. I wanted a picture. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought it said tall Goomba, and I was really excited. <laughs> oh, I guess there's a Goomba, and that's got a few. Um, okay, I think my answer is. Goomba from Mario Baseball. Why yeah. is he playing baseball? What's up with that? That is pretty funny. VC Chat is my favorite Goomba. VC Chat's your favorite Goomba? Oh, it's not. The, it's not playing oh, as a gift. Oh, I gif. think I recognize where that's from. It's not from. playing as a gift. Ethan, uh, mainly porn, isn't it? Uh, Ask your kind, It's not entirely. It's, it's spelled with an E. Harlan, sir. Like oh, Harley. Harley. Oh, this is my hair Goomba, actually. You see? <laughs> oh, that is the best. <laughs> the Mario Goomba. movie Goomba. That's true. Yeah. It's Honestly, what if that? What if that Goomba was? Oh, I recognize the first three? one. Yeah, I I have the GIF of it playing just on my other monitor, but it's not. It just won't. Discord won't accept it. I think it'll be. Wait, Tanuma? What happens if I search Goomba boobs on <laughs> Discord? Goomba. Oh my god, Tanuki Goomba? Oh, that's good, though. No, that's I'm just good. kidding. Okay, well, this is what pops There's up. Battle Pass for, Goomba Goomba boobs, for multiverses? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Just good old classic Goomba. <laughs> Mad Goomba? He sure is mad. I would be. (laughs) Grompa? I'm gonna go piss! Awesome. Nice. (laughs) Grompa? Roomba? Romba? No, Grompa? It's just the rock Goomba from Mario and Luigi Dream Team, but it's so funny. (laughs) Gritty Goomba? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Bro. Goomba, yeah, I think Goomba can hit the gritty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. Here, I'm just gonna send the link to Goomba. the gif I was trying to send in VC chat. Right. Bone Goomba. That's the one. I, that's my favorite Goomba. Is the one that's in that video. Okay. That's also my favorite Shy Guy Koopa and uh, Piranha Plant. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. <laughs> I scroll yeah, down on this page and I see Vaporeon, and now I'm concerned. Aqua Kaibo? What's that? What What's is this? That? What is this even supposed to That's mean? That's so funny. It's just a Goomba, but he's wearing an old diving helmet. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Have you guys heard the reasoning for why? <gasps> the Mario movie was the way it was. 
what's wrong with the Mario movie? Like, unironically, I remember thinking it was fine. I mean, it's fine as a movie, but as, like, a movie in relation to the game, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you mean, is- yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think that they really could have kept this story all that similar. The lore of the movie... It's wild. It's but nowhere near the games. I think... I mean, you have normal, real world that exists in the Mario universe. As showcased in the educational game Mario is missing. Um... <laughs> And then you have an alternate world with the Goombas and the Toads. Then that's the Mushroom Kingdom. No, it's not, though. It's not, though, in the movie, though. It's an alternate movie. movie. It's an alternate timeline that's like a dinosaur world. Yeah, and that's kind of how it is in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Okay, but... (laughs) But but it's not I guess so for a related question, my favorite Toad is (laughs) Indiana Joe. Uh... Anyway, what I was trying to say was the the reasoning like the director and writers gave for why the Mario movie wasn't at all like the games was because they th- they said we wanted to make uh, our own um the true Mario story and have the movie be the real Mario story and the games a parody of the movie. Aw. Uh, which, what? <laughs> they just said that so they could do whatever they wanted in the movie and with the characters, and so they wouldn't have to have any ties to the game. And so they said, yeah, lore-wise, the, the movie will be the, the actual lore of Mario and Luigi, but uh, it, the games are just a parody of the movies. Which That's so pretentious. is horrible. Oh. Peach isn't even in the movie. For yeah, what I remember. Daisy. It's Pauline. No, I it's think. Daisy. It's Daisy? Yeah, it's da- Daisy's in it. And she hatches from an egg as a baby and is the princess of the dinosaur world. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> and it's horrible. <laughs> okay, so I guess another related question. What's your favorite, like, common Mario enemy? Koopa. Favorite co- Koopa? Hmm. This, this is a little turtle guy. Bonbo. I don't, I, they're pissing. Oh, yeah. They're pissing. Okay. They're uh, so okay, my favorite Mario enemy, it's obviously Montgomery Moonball Morat. Yeah. He's yeah. in Mario Baseball. Awesome. He's like one of the worst characters, but he's also like the best character, actually. Your characters are so floaty in multiverses. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need I need to download Multiverses. I downloaded it, played it, and did not like it. Damn. Isn't the Iron Giant like just fucking absurd? I think so. I don't know. I haven't Isn't played he, it as like, him or against him. Fucking busted. I don't know. I haven't played as him or against him. Giant hitboxes because he's so big. Well, because he's massive. I know. He's just Same. too big. It's like Ridley. Except Ridley was. Managed well. In we Ultimate. have because they shrunk him. Yeah. But I think maybe the Iron Giant was too big for multiverses. Oh god, it'll take me an hour to download multiverses. Bro, really? It took me five minutes. I have a shitty not internet even. connection. <laughs> me it took me not hour. even five minutes. Like, look. Yeah, no, our, my yeah, our internet a- provider just, like, told us, hey, we're changing, we're, we're rebranding, you guys have been in with us for a while, uh, we'll double uh, what you've been, like, getting for serviced uh, and keep the price the same. Okay, so yeah, cool. whenever I download something from, like, Steam, it just says, like, a lot at first, but then it goes down. Oh, yeah, now yeah, that's it's literally, like yeah. 12 minutes, 11 minutes. Yeah, but... that's what the, my Switch does. Yeah. Oh, also, my cousins accidentally left their Switch at my house a few days ago, and they came back yesterday to hang out, and picked and they picked it up while they were here. 
while they were gone, I downloaded Pokemon Unite on it, so now they have a MOBA installed on their Switch. And I think that's funny. Why would you do that to them? Because it's a good just... game, but also... Mm, I don't know. Pokemon Unite's it's, a good game. It's kind of like League of Legends, and that's... Yeah, crazy. but it isn't. But it isn't League of Legends. But it's, it's too similar to... It's the game. genre, but it's not and League it's of Legends. Genre. Well, yeah, it's still similar. I don't want to play fucking anything even akin to League of Legends. That's so Why? sad, it's such a good game. Because it's fucking League of Legends. Like, I know I've yeah, played no. Pokemon Unite, but I don't want to play it. You're the only reason you're giving is that it's League of Legends, and though I understand that reasoning, you're that's still not a reason. <laughs> okay, and there's no and. I, you're stupid, <laughs> and you're stupid. I guess so. Yeah, there's my and. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Unite. Honestly, one of if not my favorite Pokemon spinoffs. Hmm. Uh. Because I'm, it's just it's a good game, and I'm also really good at it. I can't remember the last time I didn't get MVP. Ethan, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Why is Unite your favorite spinoff? Because it's a like, good game. Out of all of them, there are I many. Mean, there are many spinoffs. What other spinoff would be my favorite? Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Conquest. Maybe that's a good one. I've never heard of that. It's it's a fucking mystery dungeon. Like, was like fair okay, because I was too, like, too bored in the middle of mystery dungeons. Oh. Like as a kid, because there's so much dialogue. Also, my first mystery dungeons game was from Last Stop, and it couldn't save. Like it just it just couldn't save. Did you get a Did you get a, the Game Boy one? Game Boy Advanced, yeah. Yeah, rescue, uh, rescue red. Like battery. You got to change the battery. Thing. <laughs> No, so yeah, true. it's it's not the battery on my Game Boy Advance. It's just something in the card. It won't say. I know. You can, like, change it out. What? The yeah, battery you... on a card? Yeah, yeah. you can do that. You Never know. heard of that. On a what? You know people a... who change out the batteries and, like, Pokemon Emerald to fix the time, right? I've never heard anything of this. <laughs> That's not my problem. Yeah, so <laughs> get smarter. Why? I don't need to. It's I. You said get smarter mm -hmm. in context of know how to put batteries in, in a thing. Like <laughs> okay, to get smarter. <laughs> I don't mean, see the issue. If you don't know how to put batteries in a thing, you probably should get smarter. I know how to put batteries in a thing. I've replaced batteries multiple times in multiple devices. I don't believe you. Bro. Oh, <laughs> you Mr. Like Mr. Cartridge, yeah, you fight Mr. You... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... But I don't know. I just had... You need to have a better fucking opinion if you think that Unite is the best Pokemon spinoff. It's just my favorite. It, it's it's a good game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it's like every other spinoff. I've not had nearly as much fun as Pokemon Unite. Mystery Dungeons was okay, but like, like I said, I got bored too quickly on it, and my first copy of it, yeah, it just wouldn't save. Um, um, but like Pokemon Cafe makes you got like. I never played Pokemon Dude, Cafe. So. I haven't either, but it's adorable. Dude, are you saying are you are you saying a game that looks like my grandma would play it is more fun than or is no, better? No, I'm saying it's better. There's a difference. <laughs> it is not like League of Legends, and therefore it is intrinsically better. This is not true. Bro, you're you're calling a game that the same people that play Candy Crush would play mm -hmm. is better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Candy Crush. Candy no. Crush well, okay, but by that logic, play. it's uh, Unite is the same kind of game people that play League of Legends would play. Ooh, yeah, that's true. So <laughs> and I think I care about my grandmother. They literally just use your own logic against you and they hit you with a harder burn. Admit defeat while you're ahead, fuck shit. 
that's a bit no, far. Because it's a good game. And it's my favorite Pokemon hey, spinoff. Uh, here's the thing. Maybe don't admit no. defeat. Maybe stop arguing. Um, I'd like to, but I'm a little pissed off. Because <laughs> it's just a good game. Okay, I I have not said that it's not a good game. Hmm. <sighs> there are so many good Pokemon spinoffs, though. I can't even think of any. What the That's hell? That's not my you? problem. You know what's a bad Pokemon spinoff? What's a bad one? Pokemon. <laughs> 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 Asshole, not Pokemon. I didn't even say Pokemon Unite. You, <laughs> I know. I just love before. This is the shitty Picross game on the 3DS. It's good. Picross, terrible game. No, it's good. No, it sucks. Dude, it's, it's just I don't even know how to play it. I know how to play it. Just <laughs> then I just it. thought of a, a counterpoint too. Uh, Pokemon. Oh shit, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon's really good. Like, yeah, I know. I, I've played Pokemon. I love it a lot, but I still prefer Unite. Damn, really? Yeah, because Literally. Unite's awesome. For multiple reasons. In that, like, anyone can play it. And it's free. <laughs> Here's the thing. Anyone can play Magic Card Jump, and it's free. I'm pretty yeah, sure like, Pokemon Big Cross is free. Yeah. Yeah, but you need a 3DS for that. Yeah. Uh, I liked Pit Cross. It was just a fun puzzle game. Mm -hmm. You get pixel art out of it. So. I would rather not have to play Pit Cross. Pit Cross is goaded. <laughs> Pokemon. Picross fucking sucks. Fuck no, it's it. good. Yeah, no, I'm, good. I'm with Braden. Picross is good. Opening so Twitter in public is like playing Russian roulette. True. Maybe if you have a bad Twitter feed. Um, what other Pokemon? Pokemon Rumble was okay. Ooh, it depends on the Rumble. True. Like the best, like the first one is probably the best one because that's shiny Pokemon. I like played it a bit on my 3DS, and I was like, "This is kind of cool." But the only reason I played it because I didn't have a Pokemon game yet, and it was the closest. Through, cause yeah, I kind of want to re-download, like actually play through Rumble more on my like the Rumble World, I think, on the 3DS. But mm -hmm. I also don't want to play Rumble World because it doesn't have the shinies. You know what does have shinies? And mm -hmm. like Gens one through four, fucking Rumble on the Wii. Well, okay, it has one and four on the Wii, but you, there's like a mod, uh, I believe it was made by the guy that uh, Absol blogs games, or Absol blogs, blogs Pokemon, but it just adds in the Gen 2 and 3 content. Mm. So it, it, it's not as epic. That's more Pokemon. Um, This is probably the last time I'll talk about Pokemon Unite for now, but I just remembered, uh, just for the record, uh, but I just remembered it is actually like just recently hit the one year anniversary of Unite. Oh yeah. So that so they that's been celebrating on the actual game and I think that's cool. Just cause Oh uh, oh yeah, so. Machamp has like a I got a Machamp costume. Never mind the game's epic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, he's like he's like a fucking miner. He's got a like oh, he's a miner. What? He's what? A miner? Bro. Miner with an E. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> I'm in the same mine looking for miners. <laughs> look, look, that Machamp put in diggy, diggy hole. Diamonds. I'm in the same mine looking for miners. For miners. Or at least get like a get your mind into a better gutter. A gutter that would fuck a Machamp. I'm already in that gutter. gutter. Okay, good. I don't know. I just play Absol and then get MVP. I don't know. Absol, you know what that's weak to? 
Well, uh, there aren't time to unite, so it doesn't you know, matter. You're playing Minecraft in the game. Look at the computer for diamonds. That's funny. I'm in the same cave looking for miners. Because my sexual attraction to miners is major. Can't even play hopscotch without popping a rager. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Bro, the, the freaking erection acquired brand thing, you know? God. I'll put that in VC chat for context for people who might not know. Lowish. Um, Lowish. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find out if the, if the parents can understand the baby. The what? The baby. Stewie. Like the, like yeah, the I, rapper? No, no, like Stewie, like Stewie Griffin. Stewie Griffin family. That's guy? just what, the, yeah, that's just what people like say in the show when they're watching the show. They're like, ah, I, I didn't get to find out if the parents can understand the baby. They can sometimes when it's funny. Yeah. But other times, no. Yeah. Yep. For some reason, the only people who can understand Stewie consistently are Brian and Chris. Yep. Not Meg. No, not Meg. Because she took him. She doesn't deserve it. She took him to see Santa multiple times. He's like, why are you doing this? Oh, wasn't, was that like the episode after uh, Brian died? I don't remember. Don't you think how was epic how Brian Griffin from Family Guy died? No. I think it was. He was replaced by like a Mexican dog or something. No. I, wasn't his oh. name like Vinny? I yeah, his name was Vinny that. and his voice actor recently passed away, so Family Guy Funny Moments post posted a lot of Vinny clips. Uh, oh. Sad to hear that he died. Yeah. Bro. Don't but also, if any didn't call out uh, when Stewie would say "cool whip," uh, so that was okay. No. Don't care. <laughs> I think "cool whip" is the dumbest Family Guy joke. That's not even a joke. Just, no, I'm not. Re- no, I'm, I'm, that's why I keep exactly like referring it. back to it. And Brian keeps going. I'm not doing this. So Brian doesn't refer to it anymore <laughs> either. Okay. Wait, what Nobody. happened to Vinny? He died. Or didn't he just get like written out of the show through like time travel because that's how they revived Brian or something? Yeah, probably. I don't know. But he probably died. Vinny, the new dog, oh. not to be confused with New Brian, which is a different new dog plot. Do you guys what? have a? Uh... I, yeah, I, I, sorry, Bundle, I guess you're just Ryan. fucking more uh, informed when it comes to Family Guy. What the hell are you talking about? New Brian. I don't remember what his name was, but it, it, I don't think it was New Brian. It might have been New Brian, but he wasn't Vinny. He was this like, episode title is going to be like Family Guy lore or something. Didn't they got a cat at one point? Uh, yeah, and Brian was... there. Uh, I remember this one joke where... Uh, Lois was sleeping on the couch. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the boobs. Yep. Yeah. You. So you could just like see her boobs. No. No. Lois was sleeping on the couch, and the cat, as cats do, was like kneading her tits, as cats do, and Brian was jealous because he's the fucking worst. He's the worst character. And so he walked up to Lois's sleeping body. Uh, so sort of he groping her, he like her first off. Yeah. And then he did it. And then he purred. And then she woke up. And then she was mad at Brian. Of course. Cause Obviously. Because of course. What the fuck? Yeah. God, Brian. Damn. I like Brian when he's being a dog. Otherwise, he's not very cool. <laughs> that's like it. That's like how we feel about quite a bit of uh, early Dragon Ball. And, like, in particular, Master Roshi, because that's like, haha, he's a perverted old man, but that's mm-hmm. not funny. Oh, shit. Okay. New but... Chainsaw Man chapter. And that's why Brooke yeah. is my least favorite straw hat pirate. The best? Your least favorite? 
Yeah, Brooks my least favorite because I feel like nothing he does is all that good. Damn. Like he's a swordsman, but there's Zoro. Uh, <laughs> he's like all perverted, and that's not a funny shtick. Uh, the best joke. The best joke. I guess like the skeleton me. jokes; yeah. those are fine. <laughs> oh, oh. It is oh, the jokes. I would say that's quite a funny remark, but I don't have skin. Yo ho ho. Um, the the Ooh. best joke Ooh. in Family Guy by far ever, and I feel like we can all agree on this is the the Peter Griffin as a like criminal sketch person sketch. whatever sketch artist yeah yeah that was what if i think the funniest the family thing. guy joke is that mm-hmm. <laughs> these that and these animals are so hilarious. funny makes yeah. me want to merge without looking i remember i remember when we saw that in the uh funny moments yeah it, it was like the clip happened a couple clips later which yeah made yeah, yeah. It hilarious. Made it way better mm-hmm. um for, I've, I don't know. I've been getting a, like this one specific Family Guy clip on my YouTube Shorts feed lately. I don't know why. Where, where, where Peter Griffin is by a tree and he plants a dollar under an anvil and then goes to the tree and pulls the anvil up with the rope over a branch and he goes and he giggles to himself and then he and then he looks back at the dollar and goes, "Ooh, a dollar!" Runs to it and gets crushed by the anvil that he was holding. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but it's so repetitive. I don't know why it's being posted all the time. Because I feel like I would do the same thing almost. Because fucking like ADD and shit. <laughs> like, did you say ADD, bro? I don't know ADD, ADHD, whatever. Oh, okay. It's, so my understanding is that ADD is not a recognized diagnosis under the DSM five. It's like, uh, who cares? I, say, I care because my psychiatrist said ADD. Bro, I care is like the name of my my uh my daycare when I was like four. Well, so my like... daycare when I was like four, they buckled us up in like with one seatbelt in the back of a van <laughs> once, I think. Then they also made us drink out of the same water bottle. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Oh. Uh, no, like genuinely, my daycare when I was like four was awful. Dude, my daycare was the best. That's what I do. Whack. That's just what I get for fucking, I don't know, being a kid. Dude, there's some daycares that are just in the worst spots and not taken care of well. But there's it was like, around it here. was like two, uh, it was like a grandma and her, or not a grandma, but it's like an old, kind of an old lady. I don't know. And her like daughter, I think. Uh, But they just like were terrible at taking care of the kids, by my understanding. They let, uh, I think her niece. And she would like bully my sister, if I remember correctly. Sister? Yeah, uh, I have a sister. You know that, right? No, I didn't. That's why I said, damn, you have a sister? Yeah. I don't pay attention. <laughs> I don't Never. think you've ever been to my house, so I guess I don't know. Um, I don't think you regularly talk about your home life. No. You're right. I don't talk about my family. The only reason I ever knew I had a sister is because, like, we yeah, went to right. Roosevelt. Yeah. To, or censor that shit. Uh, <laughs> we went, went to, to high school, school one in the our first, first year, and my sister year. was. Um, and now I go to a different high school. And that's mm-hmm. the one where Brayden goes to. That's true, and it's fun. It's not. It's good. Factual. It's not a not not bad school. Cool, bro. I wonder what the the musical will be this year at Ooh. where we are. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, it, bro, Bray, Brayden. If it's yeah. if it ends up being like some kind of Romeo and Juliet shit. We should audition one of us for Romeo and one of us for Juliet. Okay, I think you need to, like, say romance and not Romeo and Juliet, because I don't think you want to be Romeo and Juliet. Dude, I want to be Romeo and I want to make out and then die. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Say la vie? 
Have you guys seen Alpha Reds, Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. Uh, it's so Wasn't good. like Old Tribe surprisingly in character? Yeah, no, he did good. Yeah, because it was like just he didn't care and he was the priest. Yeah. No, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When when what was the part where um Juliet was like Juliet was dead. No. <laughs> Julia was Ro- Romeo was dead, dead, and then Juliet woke up and was like, "Why didn't you did you, did you forget to to tell him or whatever?" And then he was like, "Oh, I did a little too much trolling. I forgot to send the message <laughs> or whatever." And that was like, that was like one of my favorite lines from that. A little bit of trolling. Dude, the guy who played Mercu- Mercu- oh, I can never remember Mercutio, Mercutio was awesome in that production. I loved that. Also, Jaden was um God, I can never remember. Uh Tibbled? No. No. Uh what was what was his name? Ro- oh, Romeo's other friend. Benvolio? Uh yeah, I think it's Benvolio. Yeah. Because I vaguely remember making a joke like Benvolio Shapiro. <laughs> 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 Ben Volio Shapiro. What was what was it that we? Oh, it was it was cargo skirts. We searched cargo skirts the other day, and then the hamburger helper Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh yeah, up. <laughs> as like an ad in with the cargo skirts. Looks like something a Kingdom Hearts character would wear. How do you think? Shakespeare would react if he knew Ben Shapiro existed. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be, I don't know. Honestly, I think he would say something. He's kind of like, hard to read through his works. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe flick his thumb. Okay, hear me I out. I do not right? read enough Shakespeare to know how Shakespeare would react to Ben Shapiro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how far right or left <laughs> Shakespeare is. Well, okay, so hear me out. He's English and really old. That's not a good combination. You know what? That's kind of true. There's only Did one you guys person. watch or read Romeo and Juliet in English? Both. Yeah. Both. It's I so... Only, oh, wait, we had to I act only... it out, and that was kind yeah. of... Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I think I was both, like, Lady... um. Uh, not Montresor. Uh, fuck. What's the name? Montague. Thank you. Yeah, Montague. Uh, and I was also like, uh, the the guy Montague. I think too. I I yeah. just I was like everybody. That's kind of like at um the school I went to freshman year. Yes. School one. Uh, we yeah we read it, acted yeah. it out, watched the like original movie of it, and then watch yeah. the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Look, the only Leonardo redeeming part of Leonardo that movie DiCaprio. was Paul Rod. Yeah, the, uh, it's Romeo... Uh, I mean, the, te- Romeo technically plus the title Juliet, is Romeo plus Juliet, yeah. And honestly, yeah. I liked it. It was... It, I interesting could not agree with like, Yeah, I know. I remember you didn't like it, like, at it all. It sucked. It was I enjoyed so weirdly it. edited. I mean, like, only Romeo and Juliet, like, I've watched like the it 90s, Romeo and Juliet. I know, but it's that doesn't distract from the fact that so I much fucking of love Romeo and Juliet. were just so weird. Yeah. Like they sped up some footage like an absurd amount. Okay, okay, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Who pa- okay. played Paris in that movie, Aster? Was it a who French played person? what? Who played Paris in that movie? Yeah, I know. I said Paul Rudd is the only good part. Let's go, Paul Rudd. <laughs> no, I agree. I was like the entire time. I was like, oh my god, Paul Rudd's so hot. Yeah, of course. Um, like, I, I don't, I don't class, actually think Leonardo DiCaprio is all that attractive. Yeah, like, my class know. watched Romeo plus Juliet, but I, um, in freshman year, had a tendency of just fucking, like, Napping. honestly, not faking COVID symptoms, but overblowing <laughs> them so that I would get out of school for two weeks. <laughs> um. So I didn't get to participate in a lot of activities in class 
I I I enjoyed the Honestly, movie. I think the only uh, thing might have been during my, of mice and men, but I uh, there's just somebody that sat by me and they just like fell asleep, which yeah. I feel like that's a pretty reasonable uh, thing. Yeah. Fell asleep in class men. occasionally. Honestly, that kind of fucking sucked. I liked the movie enough, the the the, the recent the Romeo Plus Juliet, to where I. I did want to watch it again, and so I got it for like five bucks. And so I do own that movie now. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I think one of the coolest things I I heard from like behind the scenes of that movie is there's the one scene where I think it's the scene where Romeo kills Tibble. I think where they're like on the beach and it's all stormy. And, I think and, I remember that. and the sky was like the, the wind was like tearing the set apart and the sky was like a weird orange color and none of that was like VFX or anything there was actually a hurricane coming on its way <laughs> when filming that's okay awesome. that's sick and so they but, were like okay guys let's roll <laughs> let's, let's get rolling and then get to shelter immediately <laughs> that's based they, they, they shot they like, like, like in a hurricane I think when I was watching the movie I was like okay I think, in terms of actually adapting the story, Romeo and Juliet was a better adaptation. I have not seen it. Yeah, I've seen you that. haven't seen Romeo and Juliet. No, we've oh, talked about this Have you seen before. Sherlock Gnomes? No, I've seen none of the gnome movies. Okay, so um, I think my reasoning was they didn't change shit for Romeo plus Juliet. It's just the same thing. They yeah. talk the same. The plot is the exact same. It, it's it's not adapted. Modern. It's just in a. It, it looks different. And it's just they it. have guns instead of swords. Yeah, that's yeah. the issue. It's not adapted to a modern setting. And everyone looks like they're from the nineties. Just it was the aesthetics, the which is the issue. Both Nomi and Juliet. It is adapted. It's changed <laughs> to fit how hey, Gordon Gnomes would do Romeo and Juliet, and therefore. Romeo and Juliet is the better adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I haven't seen it, so I can't really say. You anything. haven't seen Romeo? No, we've, I, I, I swear we've already yeah. talked about this on Pronk like twice. We, there's no <laughs> way we have. I'm pretty sure we have. No, I vividly like, if, don't. If we haven't, that. if we haven't in in Pronk, then we have in regular conversation. I know I've had this conversation. Yeah, I feel like you we have seen definitely Romeo. talked about yeah. Juliet. Before, just not on the prong. Yeah, we've hundred percent talked about it. I just don't remember where. I guess, but no, I, I've I, I I did really like Romeo Plus Juliet just because I I thought that's where we differ in this opinion. Where you thought it was like bad because it was unchanged, but the aesthetics changed. I thought it was cool the mix of culture of the the visuals of the 90s but i guess but i don't know really it's just like it's so off-putting and it's just it no it's different look all yeah. that appealing wait romeo plus juliet with that yeah the, yeah with the, uh with like Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio and guns and paul rudd yeah and guns you gotta remember paul rudd Is that like the 90s remake that was like in yeah. california or something it was yes. still in italy oh i thought that was all right I, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. Could not it was did. still in Italy? Yeah. It was? Yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Just like modern Italy? Uh, yeah, I'm looking it this up right now. Oh, well, still, I liked it. I don't think yeah, there's anything I'm not wrong saying with it. that it's wrong to like something, but. I didn't get to see know. much of it. <laughs> I just couldn't get into it. Where was Romeo plus yeah. Juliet filmed? Uh, it was filmed in Mexico City. Uh, okay, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's like I'm a sure, yeah. in Italy because I remember it there's like a news reporter and she says the two families both are like in dignity. Yeah. Um, I do think it is the the opening scene is so crazy though. I can't help but laugh. Oh, like the one with the news reporter? Just the opening scene of where it's just everyone's guns are blazing running around, just like in the opening scene. Where no, like at the gas station. Sword fighting. Yeah. No, I thought that was so bad because, like, I remember a shot where they zoom in on a sign that's being shot and it's just like sped up horrendously. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it's hilarious. (laughs) It's It's hilariously bad. 
<laughs> it's so out that's of the word. same it's thing. The same that's thing. That's the same, said, yeah. You just said the same word I said, which means it's the same thing. Sure. <laughs> we both said hilarious, which means it's hilarious. I agree it was funny, but not in I don't think it was supposed to be funny. <laughs> I don't know. What bro? No, it's my favorite comedy film. Yeah, I love the comedy Romeo and Juliet by <laughs> William Shakespeare. Along with Jaws Dude, and Saw. That would have been knee slapping, bro. When they started to- when they started talking about the fatal loins, bro, I lost my yeah. soul. <laughs> like, oh god, I remember my English teacher was like, I'm actually there's a lot of comedy in Romeo and Juliet, which like ha the nurse is horny. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, she has boobs full of milk. No, it's like, ah, I want the flower, the red flower. But it's like, no. I... <laughs> it's like, oh, like, it's okay, Ton. It's like, yeah, she, uh, Juliet was only 14, but that's okay, because that's like the time. So. Dude, all the boys in class were upset that our teacher fast-forwarded through the sex scene of the original movie. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I don't know if that's care. something you can watch at school. <laughs> I know, that's why she fast forwarded it. <laughs> but everyone was like, ah! But, <laughs> oh god, we also had to watch like a fucking quote unquote modern interpretation of Macbeth for my English class this year. It was still oh, like, was basically not adapted at all, if I remember correctly. It's just like he's like a fucking a, like a modern mercenary, I think. It was weird. I just realized it didn't make that- sense. Yeah, our ELA teacher, freshman year, skipped that scene of sex, understandably. But first semester, just last year, world history. Uh, Brayden, you know the teacher I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Uh, we got was, to watch... I'm thinking of this exact thing. Yeah, we got to watch a guy run through the Arctic no, completely naked. We got to see his peen swinging and his ass out. Awesome. Well, that's because it's historically accurate. You're <laughs> learning things. And so is Romeo and Juliet. That happens. You are not learning shit from oh, Romeo that's, and that's Juliet. Not, I remember Mister. Uh, there was uh, a sex scene, and that teacher was reading a book, and, <laughs> and everyone was giggling, and then he was like, huh, huh, why is everyone laughing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he did like the same ish thing where uh when there was that 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 guy running in the Arctic, he was like just out of the classroom talking to someone else. And then, and then like he must have glanced in the room and then he like rushed in. He was like, uh oh guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome though. He's one of my favorite teachers ever. Mm-hmm. He's just so cool. I've had him for, for three different classes now. I wish my fucking Did world you? history teacher would have been epic, but instead she just fucking shouted all the time. <laughs> Brandon? Yeah? Bro, we my world history before. teacher? Actually, Ethan, you know who I'm referring to. She For was, like, Ethan, no, the, 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 like, the world history and the uh, human genome teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kept shouting. Yeah. Like, I think uh, a lot of people I know thought she was fine. I just... You know, I know I mean, you didn't like her. Wait. Either. I thought she was okay. Bro. Like, my world history teacher yelled and shouted all the time, but she was pretty based. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked ours. She was, like, she was cool. I didn't have a problem with her. I don't know. It's just, like, always kind of too fun much sometimes. for me in fucking third period. Ethan, what were you going to ask? Um, I, I think we, I know we've had this conversation before. I just can't remember. Um, For our, our world history teacher from last year. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, did you think he was gay before you found out he had a wife and kids? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went. I had him. Uh, freshman year. Uh, everyone, and I mean everyone, thought he was gay until like the end of the year, where he was gone, and he did a uh z- like recorded a lesson. And then uh, had us watch it in class, and his wife and kids walked into the background of the video, and I was like, "What? Dude, that's awesome!" I mean, like, he could be, but, yeah. I was gonna say he has to be. He's not straight, <laughs> bro. He's like, he like our French break bad. Our French teacher, 
He's like so mysterious. Like we know absolutely nothing about him. And like we keep asking. He doesn't tell anything. But then randomly at the start of last year, he he like dropped the fact that he worked in Worldpool. And like, yeah, Worldpool. You mean Interpol? Like, Interpol, yeah. He used to work in Interpol. What's that? You international police. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Idiot. Okay, Idiot my French school. teacher is very much the opposite. She's just, like, always talking. But, like, she's not in the same way as the, uh, uh, like, geography teacher I was talking about earlier. But, like, it's oh. fucking wild. You guys, uh, you guys all have to know. I'm not gonna call him by name, but the Jesus, the Jesus sub? Oh, yeah, the, the Jesus sub. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. Dude, uh, apparently, Bro. he's been subbing for our school system for a long time like my co-worker um at where i work used to have him as a sub when he was in high school and he's not like too, too much older than us he's like a couple just a few years but still that's kind of weird to me yeah he honestly I, does not look that old no he doesn't um no, i thought he was like in his 20s 30s a lot of my co yeah like like he's, he's literally just white yeah but well i thought it was really funny is uh, my coworker had a story about him where he would end up subbing for a particular teacher a lot uh, during his senior year. And that particular teacher was the teacher that ran the video games club at their school, which he was oh, in. Oh, I remember in eighth grade, uh, the Jesus so, sub was talking about like Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Um, so that last day of school the for them happened to be a video game club day and so the jesus sub was just there watching over him and he said he said hey it's the last day of school do you guys want to get in my car with me uh i have a bunch of uh, um larping <laughs> costumes and weapons if you want to go LARP <laughs> with me and he everyone was actually like actually fucking said that Yes. <laughs> Out loud. Oh yes. He said I, to very children believable. whom he was in charge of, hey, you want to get in my okay, car? They were seniors in high school, right? You, you want to get in my car and go LARP with me? <laughs> I mean, if it's like a big group, there's... Yeah. You can't really do much about that. No, yeah, so, yeah. They all, so they all left and went to a big field and battled with... Like wood, wooden swords and yeah. and like fake chainmail armor, and it was and I, I, oh, I like showed me a video, guy. and it was awesome. Yeah, that that does sound so, like that's very in character. No, yeah, he, he's so cool. Mm. Oh, uh, just because I thought of it just now, I don't know if I've mentioned it on the broadcast. Um. <laughs> So, I was taking a math test once. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many do. Many I'm do. Sorry. And and I had oh, my AirPods I know in. What, I think I you know where this is going, Brandon. Uh -huh. You got in trouble? I had my AirPods in. I was just listening to music. And so, when you have your AirPods in, um, you, do anything. you, like, at least for iPhone, I don't know. It, well, if you get a text... It like fades the music out, pauses it, and says, "You got a text from this person." It says, "The or it says the name of the person says blank." And then I have fade. never had that happen to me. And then it'll play and fade back into the music. I have never had that happen to me. Do you have actual AirPods? Yes. Okay, I don't know. Then maybe it's just maybe AirPods. It's like a Pros? different kind of AirPods. I don't know. That sounds terrible. That's just what happens every time you get attacked. I'm sure you could turn it off if you want, but it, it's useful. Um, I don't what mind. Like I like watch for. But what what happened? <laughs> I was I was taking a math <laughs> I was taking a math test, and I was just listening to some some chill music. My chill music fades out, and my my Siri tells me, Braden says. <laughs> my fingers when I think <laughs> when I put them in your mom's butthole, <laughs> she does not wipe. 
<laughs> and then the music faded back in. <laughs> like a mad cash. <laughs> <laughs> my music fades out. Brayden says, "My fingers when <laughs> when I finger your mom's butthole, she does not wipe." <laughs> fades back in. I'm taking a fucking mad ass. I'm trying not to laugh my ass off. <laughs> I then later got context after taking the test and saw Brayden was in pottery class and got his fingers all muddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to see the, the context afterwards but I thought that was hilarious in the middle of the test did you get in trouble like were you oh my God. wearing airpods yeah cause just okay. listen to music like what if I was a- listening to a, a political podcast about Alexander Emmerich Jones of Infowars uh, I think oh. I'd take your airpods out <laughs> Myself, yeah, it sounds because good. fuck you. <laughs> I would put both buds in my nostrils and smell sneeze. the sounds, and then, and then yeah, sneeze them out. Uh, and then wiggle them, and then wiggle them around in my in my cute little asshole. What? <laughs> Okay, what? I think I'm gonna go for tonight. <laughs> Hi, That's really a really good idea, Christian. Christian. Tomorrow, Christian. Christian. I'll see you tomorrow, Christian. Yeah. But... <sighs> yeah, I'm, school's coming back soon. I'm not happy that school itself is coming back, but I'm happy that I'll be able to see, like, Brayden and Allie um, mm. and whoever else on like a regular basis dumpy won't be there anymore dumpy will he be there who i mean dumpy's leaving yeah we we knew this since like since like the middle of last year is that his well, dad yeah, elsewhere and so they were supposed to changing districts i don't know if that's actually like oh, he said dumpy? that was supposed to happen yeah don't be um yo Donkey Kong. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Um, yeah. He's supposed to be changing districts, last I've heard, but I don't know if that's still true. I guess we'll see. Uh, when the time comes. Back to my school. He never answers just now. I guess I could just text him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna text him right now because he got me. He got me curious. I'm down bad to got know. Curious? He got me curious. So, Ethan, any new Pokemon leaks? We haven't talked about that yet. Oh shit! Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm playing Mario Kart. Uh, are you talking about leaks? Regarding Pokemon? Uh, you know what's a pretty epic Pokemon leak? The huh. one Farfetch'd has. The one Surfetch'd has That's also. So true. That's, That's true. true. That's so true. Um, well, it's said to be, I know, like, early Jan- early July, sorry, not January, July, people were saying that there's supposed to be a trailer anytime, anytime this week, uh, which just didn't happen. That's but like with Ninjago fans. Apparently, crystallized part within the next like nine days, there should be a trailer because apparently it's been a theme for the past couple of years that whenever the pre-orders go live for Japan, um. They do a, a trailer with a little bit of a, like a promo. That makes sense. Thing. Yeah. Um. So we'll we'll probably be getting a trailer soon, showing some stuff in it. But, ah, uh, God, for for any recent leaks, I can't yeah. call off any off the top of my head right now. Uh, I just mean, some generic was ones. Like three years ago. Just some generic ones. Uh. Pokemon that are getting new forms. I know. Um, Meowth. Oh, oh yeah, that's interesting. Um, Meowth and Persian are in the game. Uh, it's not said that they have a new form. 
I sure fucking hope, hope not. Me they too. Sure. I hope they, do. they need I another hope one. Not. They don't they need, need another one. They, they need, need another one. one. They don't. <laughs> they need to be fucking shot and killed at this point. <laughs> they I just don't it. need another one. I just don't think that's true. They need to I have think... a new one for every oh. gen. Oh, when it comes to Pokemon that aren't in the games, uh, none of none of the previous starters will be in the game. <gasps> um, oh damn. At least, again, this is all according to leaks. So whether how true this is or not, don't know. But they're coming from seemingly legitimate sources that have been the correct in the past. So, whatever. Um, some Pokemon getting new forms, like Whoopers getting a new form and a new evolution. Um, I, Dunsparce I, is supposed to be getting an evolution. What we have? It? There's some another one. To, no, Dunsparce never got an evolution. What are you talking about? No, oh, I thought it evolved into Drampa. Or some shit. No, oh, no, <laughs> completely different. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Probably because their eyes look very eyes. similar. They, uh, Dunsparce's eyes are closed. <laughs> so are Dronpa's. No. Yeah, the, they are. I think. No, no, yeah. Not. Yes. No, they're not. They can close. The, the, the <laughs> dragon that burns down. <laughs> they can. The, yeah, the that's so true. enemies' they houses. Yeah, his eyes aren't closed. Um, they're just no like they're just true. pink. They're they're just pink. Okay, wait. They're just pink. <laughs> they're like, Don't fucking change where the fucking text bar is. Um But anyway, yeah, that's happening. Apparently, there's gonna be like Damn, three. they are just pink. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> It's a stupid design choice. Apparently, there's going to be like three new Tauros forms or whatever, and it's like depending on where you are in in the region, uh, the the Tauros will appear different. That's cool. Which is yeah, it might cool. give Tauros like a uh, competitive viability yeah. it hasn't had since fucking oh, Gen oh. One. Speaking of competitive, uh, massive game changer. For a leak, um, so someone mentioned that Palmy is supposed to be a three-stage evolution, like Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu, uh, and it'll end up being electric fighting. Uh, the art for it, I I don't like the art that has been leaked, but otherwise, I I'm fine but with fighting it. Fighting types, I love it fighting ha- types. It has a move, uh, uh, um, that is exclusive to it. It has a signature move that is that goes hard. Um, it you know it has those f- big fluffy paws. Um, those oh my god, it's like to... in One Piece when the guy with the big boss. Sure. Um, it's it's supposed to, maybe, if assuming this leak is true, so it's supposed to be like, what, defibrillators? Is that what they're called? And <laughs> oh. um, the Palmy's evolutions, I guess, will have a move that has one power point, so you can only use it once, uh, but it revives a Pokemon on your team. No, Which I is don't believe that. crazy. If big, if true, <laughs> it's that's bullshit. If I've ever seen it, um, but yeah, that, big, yeah. if true, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> otherwise, what are, what are the leaks? Then oh. Smeargle just takes that move, and then Tommy <laughs> is never competitively viable ever. True. Actually, I don't <laughs> think Smeargle's gonna be in the the game. I mean, uh, if. No. <laughs> they could just do what they do with Dark Void in Gen 7, where Smear Girl just can't learn it. Or use it. Yeah. They'll just fail. Um, Because it ain't got no paws. It didn't eat paw paw fruit. Have you guys heard of regional fakes? No. no. Uh, it sounds like a new thing that'll be starting uh, with this generation, and maybe be consistent with more, is that their, their Pokemon, it, it's like regional forms, but they're not considered the same Pokemon. So one of the examples being so you or, mean like or maybe Berserker and Persian. I, I'm getting to there. Um, it, it's supposed to be like it, it's sounding like there's gonna be like a, like a new Diglett that's like a geyser, uh, and it looks like a Diglett, but it's not. So it's like a regional form, but it's given its own Dex number. It's not associated with Diglett. Um, okay. in the Pokedex, it's its so own. You mean thing. like Persian and Berserker. 
or I mean, Topa Grigas, no, because, Runa Grigas. Oh, no, because those are regional forms, and it's like regional forms. No, those are, those are Persian and Berserker are different Pokemon. Yeah, those are different. Yeah. They have different Pokedex numbers, and that fucking... Yeah, because they're Pokemon. different Pokemon. Persian... There's a lowland you, Persian, but Berserker is a completely different Pokemon than Persian. Okay, but why why shouldn't it just be Galarian Persian? Because it's not a Persian. Because it's not a Persian. It's so very clearly not a Persian. It's got half the legs, Aster. I don't care. It should just be... It's <laughs> not! It's just not. It's got a whole different name! Okay, watch this. It could have just been called a different thing. The name is the most really arbitrary fun. part of it. It's entirely different from Persian. It evolves from Meowth. Therefore, it is Persian. No. That's just not true. It, were you saying it's not true? Does it not evolve yes. from Meowth? It does evolve from Meowth, but it is not Persian. It is Berserker. I, it should be in the same thing, just for, like, fucking what? convenience. No, it shouldn't, because they're different. Yes, it okay. is. It was so annoying to get another Meowth and Sword and Shield. I to agree. My decks. I agree. I don't agree. Eat my ass. But they're still different Pokemon. D how? <laughs> it's Persian. Name a way that they are the same Pokemon, aside from that they evolved from Meowth. Name a way that they're the same Pokemon, except for a way that they're the same Pokemon. Okay, buddy. Oh, so you're admitting that there's only one singular aspect of their a bit of their being that is similar to Persian? What? <laughs> Almost as though they aren't the same Pokemon. Who would have guessed? It's like it's fuck you, you Aster. Every single Eeveelution evolves from Eevee, but I wouldn't call That's Umbreon different, Zildar. and you know that is not That's different. the same fucking That's thing. Exact no, same it's thing. not. Yes, it yeah, is. There's... It's exact. It's Different exactly it's the, same the same Pokemon thing. in different things. Yeah, you don't exactly. have one. You don't have a normal type Meowth that evolves into a Steel type Persian. Yeah. What? What are you saying? Exactly. <laughs> like exactly. We're telling you that that's because that's the, it's the same thing that's happening. It's Eevee in different situations will evolve into different Eevee Lucians. But it's the same Eevee in different it's situations a different will evolve into either Persian or Perserker. That's how it works. But it's not the, it's the same, same fucking a, thing, Aster. No, you can have two identical Eevees and evolve them into a different thing, but if you have two identical Meows, they'll evolve into the same thing, right? But that you have two different... Anything. That, pers that Perserker and Persian are different Pokemon. They really shouldn't be. <laughs> but but why they shouldn't are. they be different yeah, Pokemon? They're so because it different. doesn't add anything. It, it does add something. It. it adds Berserker. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, if it, your argument for that made no sense, they're different meows that evolve into different things. And it that should make be honest, uh, Berserker be a Persian honestly, for what be, reason? I was doing a fucking terrible job of expressing it. I think it's just because I think they only did it to pad out the Pokedex a bit. Because otherwise it wouldn't be 400 on the... For, for I the mean, sure, anyway. yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that Berserker isn't a, a, a Persian. It really, oh, it it really, really is really not. Isn't. It's just not... <laughs> it's just not. Everybody in the comments of this Pronkisode will call you a shitter. Yeah. Because that's okay. what you're being right now. <laughs> a <shitter>. Okay, and <laughs> I'd rather be by myself and know that I'm right. That's the exact same shit that Ben Shapiro says. <laughs> that's not ex the exact same <laughs> well, well, I'm not looking at the help by saying that they shouldn't be separate dex numbers. They should be because they're different Pokemon. Then shouldn't a lowland Persian be a different Pokemon? No, because no, it's because Persian. it's a it's a it's a regional variant of Persian. Then Berserker is, Persian is Persian. not a regional variant of it's Persian. Only not a it is Berserker. It gave it a different Dex number. It's not. It's not Persian at all. <laughs> it's not at all Persian. It's not hot at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> Care to explain that? <laughs> I'm sorry, look at Persian and tell me that's not a hot cat. <laughs> you can't, because I mean, you know in your heart that I cat's hot. <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh. That's your real name. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. What's what's your point? Are you My saying that Persian wrong. isn't at all hot? No, I yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I mean, Persian just is a cat, and it's, it's one of the most animal Pokemon. <laughs> it's okay, just I'd like to retract my prior statement. <laughs> I don't think you get to do that. I think I do. No. <laughs> 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 I would like to rescind my statement. <laughs> After realizing that this Pokemon is just a cat, I would like <laughs> to re revoke <laughs> my claim. <laughs> Bobo, remember what you said yesterday when we were with Ali? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't think it was yesterday. I think it was a bit earlier than that. I don't remember what it was, but I don't want to remember it. Because it's going to make me look the wor like I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm worried. I, I, won't even, I won't even mention it. Just You just got to... I'm worried. Sit with you're worried? I think I have to leave. <laughs> you gotta leave? I think I have to leave this episode. <laughs> but I really don't want to leave this episode. You don't, you, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. But don't leave. It's fine. Um, For the, uh, I'd like to what? formally apologize. <laughs> you're, I'm the prideful member of the podcast. Astrid is the wrathful member of the podcast. What member of the broadcast are you? You you exactly know which one. With your fucking... You know exactly which one. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna say it out loud. I want you to say it, actually. Lustful member of the podcast. Yeah. The broadcast. Ethan, which one are you? I don't even know what we're talking about. Okay, so, so on Twitter, experience. Bryn had a proud member of the as bron proud member of the hashtag broadcast in their Twitter bio. So I added wrathful member of the hashtag pro uh, broadcast to mine. Bro, my, my in my bio, it's just one of the hosts of Bronk. So, <laughs> hmm. Well, you gotta choose one, I guess. Choose one of what? The, the seven deadly sins. Do you not, do you not know what they are? Uh, no. Okay, so you got lust, up. gluttony, sloth, envy, pride, wrath. Uh, which one am I missing? Did I say envy? Sloth. Uh, I think I said sloth. Envy, lust, like greed, pride, sloth, wrath, gluttony. Uh, the the fucking homunculus from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Mem member. Uh, I don't Obviously know. I the also, best I also to want to say pride, but I don't want to take that from Brayden. You could be the slothful. Okay. <laughs> Allie would be the greedful because she takes oh, all of our true. money. That's HR. correct. She's <laughs> she manages the payroll, right? But I haven't gotten paid. I feel, yeah, like, I, I feel like wrath is shared between Aster, Bonbo, and myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Well, I claimed no, it first, no, I, so. Hey, Ethan, yeah. I don't think you get... I don't think you're angry enough. You're only... A, okay. you're, you only get angry because Aster argues you're right. specifically. Yeah, yeah. You're only angry yeah. because of me. Yeah, that's Which true. I think cements why I'm the wrathful one more. Because, like, <laughs> uh, I both create and embody rage. That's, this is true. <laughs> um, oh, one more thing about Scarlet and Violet. Um, they're also introducing... They're introducing a lot of form shit. They're also introducing 
um, what <laughs> are yeah allegedly um, supposed to as of now that might change later be called paradox Pokemon, which are like the proto and neo form stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, that I mean I guess that makes sense, but I was assuming that for like the fucking past and future theme that's what like the quote unquote regional fakes would be. Mm, we'll see. They could be. Don't really know. Um but what was I gonna say? Um there, some, that someone was said that Pokemon Pokemon will be able to time travel, but you won't be able to. Which I don't know how that what that's supposed to mean. Uh, you that ever play Gen mean... one and two? You could use Stadium to transfer Pokemon with a time capsule, and since they take place in different years canonically, that's time travel. I mean, yeah, okay, uh, but that's just transferring Pokemon, right? Yes, but in universe, it is time traveling. Yeah, I was. So just I don't. This, this is think. actually extremely precedented. It's existed since like. What two thousand? No, I, that's not what I was thinking of it as. I wasn't thinking of it as Pokemon Home. I was thinking of it as okay, just like, like a gimmick or a mechanic in the game. Like mm-hmm. well, just like just like Mega Evolutions. Yeah, uh, actually, they did talk. There was stuff about the gimmick. Something about like what it's called, like crystallizing or something, is what people are. Yo, just like called, Ninjago, where um, it like makes a particular type of move stronger. I don't know. It sounds kind of lame from what I've heard so far, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll actually be teased with it with this next trailer. I really maybe hope Maybe it'll so. be actually pretty busted. I hope so. I hope it's not overpowered. I hope it's incredibly overpowered. Um, no. Otherwise, uh, Information on final evolutions for starters. Uh, sounds like Fue Coco is going to be four legged, traditional croc looking thing with a fire rooster on its head. Huh? Um, and then there's already been leaked images, partial images of Sprigatito and Quaxley's fully evolution. Uh, Sprigatito will be on two legs. A musketeer. Most likely, from what we've seen from the pictures, Sprigatito will be on two legs, have a little bit of a like a mask, uh, whatever. And Quaxley. So like Zoro from like the like the. Like Quaxley will be on two legs and don't know much about it. But uh, there was a theme. Someone was someone had mentioned that. Um. Oh god, what was it? That Sprigatito's final evolution would be like some kind of entertainer, like a clown or something. Which I think is funny with Bombo. Um, I think if it was a clown, uh, make Quaxley it is supposed to be maybe a dancer from what have people have been saying. And uh, Foy Coco is supposed to be a singer. Which a lot of that sounds kind of wacky, but like, okay. Then where does fucking Sprigatito fit into that? It's not really an entertainer. A clown? Oh, okay, yeah, clown. Sorry, I forgot. I thought that was just like unrelated. <laughs> no. Eh, I, I think it would be pretty lame. USA. A wonderful day. this guy has face. God, I mean, I've seen quite a like too much American Dad, which isn't a lot, but I don't know what's up with the alien being like Jewish and gay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what is up with that. I what don't know what. Them, but I, I, there is he Jewish? I don't know. I just remember a, a, like an episode where the son oh, is Jewish. being tried under Jewish oh, law, oh. I think, and the alien it was his lawyer, and there's um, something with foreskin, I think. Uh, another, another leak I just remembered. I don't remember how accurate this is in that, like, if it was 60 or 70, 
but someone mentioned that the game will take 60 or 70 hours to complete. God damn. That which is, is a Pokemon game. Which is a lot, which which is good though, because like a lot of content. That that doesn't necessarily mean that's not a good or bad thing. Like, sure it might be a lot, but if it's just the same thing over and over, then that's a bad thing. I'm sure it'll keep it spicy. It's very open world. You can do the gyms in any order. Hmm. Twice as long... Well, allegedly, also. Twice as long as what? Twice as long as it took me to beat Arceus. Yeah, Arceus took a while to beat, but I liked that. Yeah, Arceus was, like, a really long game, especially by Pokemon standards. Yeah. Well, it just had a lot of content. There was a base game, post game, post post game, post 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 game. Like, there was a lot. Uh, like, there's a lot yeah, you can do like, after the fact. I think the first. I don't know. But getting all the uh, fucking entries completed fully takes hundreds of hours. And then it's not even like the full game. Because you also have, like, uh, the Paths of Solitude, I think. Mm hmm. And you need a living dex for that, for the most part. I do honestly. I think the best change in Arceus is actually you get to just choose when to evolve Pokemon. Yeah, and that is uh, said to keep being a thing in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I would, and um, also Scarlet and Violet is saying to have the same like move pool kind of thing as Arceus did, where you can swap out moves at any time. Ooh, that's. Which That's is good. awesome, yeah. I think, oh, also another thing in Scarlet and Violet is that breeding is not going to exist anymore. Hmm? Um, in the traditional sense, it won't. We won't like have a daycare. It sounds like there will be like a new version of what was like playing with your Pokemon and Pokemon Camp, like those that were on like the 3DS and the Switch. It sounds like yeah. it's going to be a oh, new so version it's going to be like a me, and then you can make it so the Pokemon have a. It, it'll be yeah it'll be something hanging out at one of those places and your pokemon will have eggs for you uh, uh it's very vague don't know exactly how it's <laughs> working vague. um but that's what i've heard and what i remember that's that, strange yeah it I, is. but I'm if, not, it, if I'm it not works, gonna i think if they really change breeding a lot I'm probably not gonna like it. I'm not even. I've never like actually. I've bred a lot of Pokemon. I've only ever bred Pokemon for becoming a tycoon on Ultra Moon for Own Tempo Rock Ruffs. That's the only time and reason I bred Pokemon. That makes sense, but um, I think my main issue is primarily just if they change breeding, is it gonna be really easy to obtain eggs? I I'm not, we'll not sure if it'll out. be like overly challenging or mm-hmm. overly easy because I feel like it's not going to be good if they change it without a lot of we'll see. planning that I'm not convinced they'll do considering. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. As much as I did like um, Sword and Shield, BDSP did leave a pretty bad taste in my mouth. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I really I like, like Sword and Shield. It's perfectly fine, but with BDSP, it's just like so underwhelming. I guess. I like Shredding Pro. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just stylistically, it's very, very good, in my opinion. Like they didn't add basically anything. Oh yeah, I don't have a problem with that. It's a remake. Like, it's mostly just what Random S Park and um, a bit of and it's like adding Pokemon to the underground, but. Uh, they also removed most of the secret base stuff. For me, he, my opinion stuff. on the style has been a roller coaster. Uh, when it first got shown, I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, very quickly, I was like, actually, yeah, I like it. Yeah. And then, most recently, I've been like, eh. Don't really like it. Yeah, when I first honestly, saw it, I, I, did not like I really it. do like the style of BDSP. I think it looks really nice, but I just cannot stand 
just how little it is. Mm-hmm. Like, Oraz had the Delta episode, and Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I, I'm told they're good. I can't. Like, I've played a bit Perfect. of it. I just not stand Johto in the slightest. Heart it's Man, Soul such Silver. a fucking slog. Um, I like Soul Silver a lot. Um, but yeah, I like for the style of BDSP. It at first when I saw it, I was like, "Ew!" <laughs> I, I just didn't like it. And then after playing it, it grew on me, and just the visual style of like the environments and the towns was was very cute. Uh, the the models of the Pokemon were good. Um, the like moving in the water, the rippling effects were really really good. Uh, yeah. The reflections on like the floors of Pokemon was good. I like that a lot. But and then the character designs, like it's okay. I <laughs> the character designs. I still, I don't really have any. I did. I I didn't really didn't like them before, and now I just don't really care because <laughs> it's it's just the same thing as what they used to be like, but three D, and I just don't care. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about Pokemon speed running recently, and this this is a question for Ethan. Astro, I think you probably know the answer. Ethan, do you know what the quickest Pokemon game to speedrun is? Uh, is it BDSP? It is. Because it came out with like a bug, right? Yeah. Can you yeah. guess? Hold on. I'm going to pull this Wait, up. Can I thought, guess? Did, didn't this one like red and blue have a glitch where you can make it to the end of the game immediately? Oh, no, that's facts. I think it's gold and silver. Or also red and blue. But I think that's Tass. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It might be Tass. But does that count? Because it's technically... Be- you could theoretically do it. I don't know. Well, can... Uh, maybe. Like, I don't think there's enough... That there's really inputs for it to be an issue. Because Pokemon doesn't have many inputs. When it comes to like... RNG manipulation, I would imagine. Yeah. Maybe there is more than I th- can think of, but... Uh, uh, it might only um, be in the Japanese red and green. That might be the issue. Uh, um. Okay. Ethan, can you guess what the fastest Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl time is? Uh, I don't know. The glitch sounded pretty crazy to me when it was mentioned. I don't know how fast it is, though. Uh, one minute. Yeah, you're really, you're really on, uh, overselling it here. Over? Yeah. Like, as in my time is too little or too much? Yeah, way too long. Okay, five minutes. It's 14 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know. I don't know what crazy the glitch was. I, I've never seen it. I just remember you talking to me about it. Of like you couldn't. You haven't seen quick. the videos? No. Sure. The only glitchy <laughs> speed run I've ever seen was a speed run of Half Life Alex, and that was glitchy as fuck. So what? you're telling me you haven't seen many speed runs? I haven't seen what? Many speed runs. No, I've the only speed runs I've seen is that one. Uh, I watched some of I, I watched some of your old Ben Ten speedruns on the DS. Those were very glitchy. I watched, but you couldn't tell because you never played the game. Yeah, I watched. Um, um... I watched quite a few Metroid Dread speedruns just because I got into speedrunning mm-hmm. that a bit. I wouldn't assume those. Okay, um, are they I glitchy? looked up the blue. No, um, they're not um, glitchy, but they do get like um, uh, what's the what's this what's the term called? Like um, oh. skipping Time certain saves. parts of the game. Yeah, that's not okay, the, um, uh, the fastest speedrun for Pokemon. I believe yeah, is red and blue. Yeah. Um, the any percent speedrun for um red and blue with glitches is one minute eighteen seconds and eight hundred ninety three milliseconds. Goddamn. Yeah, I'm telling you, and that's a real time run, and it's pretty close to being replicated multiple times. Cool. Because they I, do something where they exit their house and they end up at the uh, league. But, like, oh, where you. So it was Pokemon Oaks, like, or Professor Oaks, like, oh my god, you did it. You beat the uh, champion. 
You have mm-hmm. anything. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, you just have nothing in the Hall of Fame, but you still won. That's actually pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. They should bring that back. Well, I thought they did, and that's why it's 14 minutes for BDSB. <laughs> yeah, it's... For the BDSP speedruns, uh, you're able to, like, open your menu, and that just kind of breaks. Oh, yeah, you can open it, like, multiple you're times, You're able right? to open your menu, like, multiple times, and then the what the you do is you use that to somehow walk over water Oof. and then walk to where the uh, the uh, Pokemon League is and then you like exit and re-enter your game a bunch of times till you get high enough to where you're just inside the Pokemon League. Huh. So what you're saying is you have to become Jesus? Mm-hmm. That's or you just have to get really, really high. <laughs> Yo, it's both, really. Uh, VC chat. I just saw that now and thought it was funny. Yeah. Um. Wow, we were. Have to scroll really far. Wow, we were. Borat's point is dead. Wow, we were. Wow, we were. What what in the my we were? Oh, I hate man. French people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it? Wait, I have a picture on my phone. I got no brain. Does that mean that your least favorite straw hat is actually Sanji? Nah, I love Sanji. But you said you hate French people. He's an exception. What about his family? What about nah? I hate them. Uh, VC chat. That's true. I Except hate... Rager. Their birthday with Rager. Guys, I just had a nightmare. Yeah. French people were real. You see chat. Uh, it's a scary. <laughs> I would be scary. Real French concept, people were real. It's it's so sad that uh that it's so epic that uh Etra Oda invented French people for One Piece. That's so true. That's so true. I'd even watch One Piece, and I agree. I would recommend reading it. Um. No. Like both in no both in that like it's better than watching the anime and that it's really good. Please, I swear. I'll be, I'll be real. I I've been around Ethan while he was reading the first volume of Bleach. I think if he were to read it, it would take him longer. Really? Yeah. Even with like uh anime dress I just show? I just don't read often bro I in like uh, elementary school I would read the fucking magic tree house books and the, like I would check them out from the library and then the time it took for it for the class to like leave the library which was like next to the room like we were literally connected to the ri- library I would have finished the book okay um, look, I, I'm i just like Sonic the Hedgehog when it comes to reading. I don't know. I'm both not a very fast reader, but also I just don't read often. I mean, I don't read often either, but that's I don't use that as an excuse. Like, I read I'm most saying, of... If I picked up a series, it would take a long time for me to read it because I just don't usually care enough to, to get reading. But what if it was really good? Then I'd maybe I'd probably read it. Okay. Like, I, like I've, I've okay but hear me out, Ethan. Pokemon hear me out. There, One really piece is it. really good, so... Okay. Um... I don't know. Braden, watch me get to, to school. Like first day of school, <coughs> going to the library. Hey, there's still a is, there's still a book on hold for me. Uh, is it is it back? Yeah, dude. I, I was gonna ask if when school starts again, would you pick back up Bleach? A hundred percent. I loved it. 
like the oh, first man. volume got me got me like oh you like only that. read like uh, books if you can physically read them what you only read like if you can physically have it mm, no I, I read some webtoon series okay because like you could read a lot of shonen online I mean, I'm sure. I just I uh, I think sometimes I might prefer having like it in book form when it comes to a page that's spread out over like both not both sides, but like yeah, the left and right page, you know. But it's like one si- simultaneous thing, bro. Like that would be so much easier to read uh in paper. But aside from that, I, Guys. I don't really like the feel of paper yep. all that much. Someone modded Stray so you can play as Garfield. Yeah. yeah. Aren't have people awesome. been modding Stray so you can just like play as Stray's their cat? cat? That's awesome. That, that's really cool. Yeah. Or it's just like uh, I, Stray. But I've Stray. seen nothing about Stray except for like the announcement trailer. Uh, I've like, seen nothing from Stray except for when Dylan streamed it. That's crazy. I'm gonna be the honest, only Stray's fun. The only recent thing about Dylan I've heard is that Bomba was upset that they were playing Forza Horizon 5 for how long? I don't know, like at least six hours. Yeah. That's a very Straight. Dylan thing to have done. And like, like still had it open and playing at like one in the morning. Dylan would, but I don't think that he's able to do that for continuously. We're still no. building up to the uh, Dylan 19 episode. Yeah. You're right, bro. It's going to be like when the, when they make it to Elbath. He'll be here and make the show <laughs> all about him, Elbath. and then will not be invited back. <laughs> I mean, that kind of is what happens when you have a guest on a podcast. Oh, that's true. You're right. <laughs> but also, all of our guests before have, have been like... Just our friends. Yeah. I mean... Like Bomba and Aster are guests, but we all just have a collective conversation. Yeah, we um, are technically the hosts. Yeah. Like, who cares? I think, ho- I think, I think host in this case is more like to a parasitic uh, organism. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. I'm the parasite. Braden. We're all parasites. Our HR is ran by a guest. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why you haven't been paid. Yeah. So I mean. Explains why we're not monetized. This episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Uh, Shave your balls. Bro, if, if your we balls. got sponsored without, by without like I, would, I would actually play it for a little bit. You know who you are, who we're talking to. Shave your balls. Do your balls. It. I need to shave my balls. God, Last yeah. time I smelled you, there was cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> I reached down there, and there was cheese. And there was cheese. It, was, oh, it, 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 it smelled like Wisconsin down there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I fucking hate Wisconsin. You need, you need to shave. What's wrong with Wisconsin's Wisconsin? Wisconsin's like Michigan, but worse. <laughs> What's wrong with Michigan? <laughs> It's Michigan. It's split in two. I know why it's split in two. Because they fought a war with Iowa or uh, Ohio. They fought a war with Ohio. Yeah, you don't know what the Toledo War is. No. no. This bitch has never heard of the Toledo War. The, not, the Toledo said, War, bitch. like the chips. You said this bitch and not these bitches. I have no idea what it is either. Neither because do I. I don't. I. I genuinely just wasn't considering you. That's <laughs> that. No, that's too mean. I don't want to say Ow. that. My I have my limits. Oh. But like the Toledo War was um, fought between the militias in um, Ohio and Michigan. I don't think anybody died. I think one person was like injured. And then the government was like, "Okay, um, Michigan gets uh, this peninsula if they." shut the fuck up about wanting Toledo because there was like a misunderstanding about shitty, a shitty map that led to confusion over where the border between Ohio and Michigan is. Yeah. And that and was important because like, like then it 
than like, oh, who gets the tax for people living here? And it was like a pretty important port for the Great Lakes at the time, which is why it was double important. So that's why Michigan looks like that. Yes, that's why Michigan looks like that. Yeah. I just saw it was in VC chat and I almost threw up. <laughs> what? I mean, as long as they recast Morbius, I would watch Morbius too. Are you talking about, uh are you talking about the image of French people? No, no a I new put thing. a link uh Morbius saga. Yeah. Bro, the Morbius saga, that's like my favorite part. Uh, uh, Morbius I loved it when Dr. Vegapunk invented fake blood. Uh, they're so good. Do you think Dr. Vegapunk is gonna like have a flashback and he's gonna look like Morbius? I hope to fucking god he doesn't. What normal part of Vegapunk looks like Morbius. What? He's just gonna be Morbius with an eye patch, I bet. Yeah, he's gonna be Morbius but old. Because, like, the G5 sailors yeah. called him an old man. Dude, I, I... I... In a recent interview, Otis said that he... It might end in three years and... Bullshit. <laughs> like, there is so much. Yeah, because we still have to go to Laugh Tale, Elbath, and we have to meet, we have to meet fucking Vegapunk, and, like... We what have to about... figure out what the fuck is going on with most of the like world government. Yeah, like what's Amazon up with the void century? What the fuck? How is did a Blackbeard like, do that? The Why the fuck is there just a big straw hat? Yeah, what Where the, the fuck, fuck did that up? come from? What what the fuck is up with that? What straw the hell hat? happened in the dark century? It's called the void century, Brandon. The void century. Uh, Look, it's uh, it's literally one of the characters' motivations. I feel like you should remember. No, I don't. It's but it's like, yeah. it's called that interchangeably, pretty much. I don't ooh, think ooh, it's ooh. ever been referred to by the, as the Dark Century. Um, I don't know if you guys know. I think you probably should. Oh, yeah, but then know. we still have to see like Shanks and Luffy reunite, and then Blackbeard is gonna do something. And then there's like what's three up with, different what's possible up with final the fourth villains. Emperor? What's up with him? <laughs> Kobe Admiral? What? Will Kobe become an Admiral? That is a good question. What's uh uh what the fuck? Uh what's what's up with the dawn of the world? The fuck mm -hmm. does that mean, Pedro? Who the hell is Joy Boy, really? Well, yeah, I mean that kind of got answered halfway. Yeah, it's fine. Uh who the fuck is Nika though? Was Nika real? What? Well, uh, I mean, yeah. uh, I actually Bombo watches the anime. He doesn't know about Nika. No, that Trin, who's who's? Oh, a... oh. wait! I have no, no idea who the fuck. I I do not recognize that name at all. Okay, um, has who's who's fought Jimbe in the anime? Like they, the, the saber the tooth big tiger cat guy. guy. They like yeah. started. But they haven't okay. done shit. Okay, sorry. Uh, he's probably going to mention it in a few episodes. So, whoopsie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's They're... up with what's up with what happens with Luffy? You know. Also, in that interview, Oda said that's probably going to be wrong, and that he said he's been wrong about One Piece ending so many times that he's lost credit. Yeah, like, wasn't it originally it was supposed to be just, like, f five years? Uh-huh, and he said Because I remember that... in the SBS, I think, Oda mentions how Binks's Brew was written at the beginning of the series. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, and I think it was, yeah, because he got, like, a composer to write it. But, like, what what significance does Binks's Brew have, actually? Because I... Wasn't it sung by who like? Who the fuck is Bink? Yeah, who the fuck is Bink? <laughs> What's up with that? Bink. 
<laughs> at the so, at the at the end of the so series, very good. Luffy's gonna get to to laugh tail, and Bink's gonna be there Yo. with his brew. Yo, he wait. So what you're saying is he bid farewell to Port Renowned. Say so long, fucks. It's bid farewell to Weaver's time. Say so long, to Port Renowned. Exactly what I'm saying. Oh no. <laughs> The waves were... He didn't have to find any of the Poneglyphs. The waves were his guide. That's true. What's up with Zoro's sense of direction? What's up with that? <laughs> Do you think... Oh, haha, he's gonna find Laugh Tail. Honestly, I think the most annoying joke One Piece fans have is, haha, Zoro would have found Laugh Tail already if he wished to navigate to her. I just fucking hate that joke. It's kind of overused, yeah. Will Carrot be joining the Straw Hats? Hope, I hope. That'd be awesome. I know. I think we need, like, a third female member of the crew. Yeah. Because, like, if Yamato joins, that's just another guy. Yeah. It'll still be epic because trans people are hot and sexy. Mm -hmm. and, and like, sure, Bon Clay is something, but uh, as much as I love Bon Clay, I don't think that they're a great. Yeah. What? I, a lot I love Bon Clay. I think it still would be cool, but I feel like I don't know. I feel like they kind of just. Don't visually mesh. There are a lot of characters in One Piece, and a lot of them are good as being side characters and not straw hats. Yeah, like if Bartolomeo fully joined the crew, I would not be happy with that, but I love Bartolomeo as is. That's facts. Bartolomeo is in his proper position at the moment. Mm -hmm. And. Well, and what's going to happen with Bartolomeo? That's what's going to happen another... with Bartolomeo. Who yeah, fucking what's cares? With him? What's He's happening with the background? He uh, he declared war on Shanks. <laughs> uh, that's not going to get mentioned in the anime until after that's one. Never so that has already been out. shown. What it was shown? Yes. No. Yeah, it was when it as a little blurb a long time ago. It happened in the oh. manga. Right, yeah, yeah, because I think the, because it's like the cover story was showing off all of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet members, right? Yeah. But because anime's kind of dumb, they haven't adapted any of the cover stories since, like, I think Diaries of Kobe Mappo. Damn. Which, yeah, it's only, it was just Buggy's uh, Undersea Journey or something, and uh, it worked Diaries of Kobe Mappo. Oh, so they did they not show Enel going to the moon? Oh, they yeah, they, I don't think they did, which is kind of like, oh, yeah, what the fuck is up with the moon? Yeah, what's up with that's Enel another going? good question is will Enel come back from the moon? Why is Can on the Enel moon? breathe in space? Can Logias just breathe in space, or is it specifically Enel? Is it because well isn't he like a like a, a Skypean? That might be yeah. Funny, I don't know. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Mm, yeah. He's from a different sky island. Because aren't the Skypeans the from the moon? No, they're from Skypea. No, but I'm pretty sure they come from the moon. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That well, they went from make... the moon to Skypea. There's... But the like, people yeah, who live the on the moon look now? nothing like Skypeans. I read the what? cover story. You yeah. did read that cover story? There's dwarves. They live on the moon. No, I think you're referring to, like, the automatons. Like, uh, Spacey? No. There's there's dwarves who live on the moon. Yeah, yeah I, the guys that were attacking the automaton. Yeah, the like the space pirates, but I'm pretty sure that at the end there was, like, uh, like a mural or something. And I'm pretty sure it showed people that looked like Skypeans. I think that was like a prophecy kind of thing. Uh, 
maybe. But it still means that the Skypians have a connection to the moon. Yeah. Like, I don't know. What? Here's another thing. These what are just the fuck was up with, like, the clout they're meant? Like, the spirit that repaired the Marian Skypia? What the fuck was up with that? And that was does... already explained, though. That was... Kind of, but I feel like it... I don't know. Does... Like, does Wasn't the, that just the old man? Wasn't that just the old man? Gonfall? No, Gonfall was not the one that repaired the Mary. The Mary repaired the Mary. The spirit yeah. of the Mary repaired itself. Yeah, and that's, that's like it. the cloud man. That's it. But that's yeah, it. Yeah, but like, does the Thousand Sunny have one? Because it was like, yeah, yeah, that's when the ship is really loved by the people that it has. I but like, obviously the Thousand Sunny has one. I yeah, think... but like, is that gonna come up? Did no, you know... I think that's actually going to appear in One Piece film red. Really. Yeah, they they uh, showed this character called Sonny Chan. Hmm. Who that, looks? That, I don't that, like. That I don't like that. That is the spirit of the Sonny. I guess. We've talked a lot about One Piece this episode. That's epic. We should talk about it more. We should. Hmm. But then okay. I don't get to talk. You think who's your favorite One Piece character? Luffy. That's yeah. awesome. That's epic. It's the, only, it's the only guy like I kind of know. There's the one girl that has like boobs, and the one guy that likes the boobs. Which one? They Which all one? all the girls have boobs, one, Ethan. One, and I know the guy. The course. girl that I'm talking about is the one that the guy that I'm talking gets get, gets body swapped into at one point. Oh. oh yeah. uh, Okay, that's a spoiler for like after the time skip. That's fucking punk hazard. But yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, and punk. Ethan, look at uh, I don't know what spoilers yeah. are because I don't even know the series. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely the fucking yeah. Answer promo- that's like the fucking clout they're meant for the fucking Sunny Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's Nami. Bro, don't give it up, Nami. Her name Nami. Like, Nami. That's what I'm saying. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Sanji's cooking. Chopper's doctoring. Um, do you guys know what's been going on D and D news related? Oh, uh, like five. Is it is it gonna be like five point five e or something or six e? I don't even know what that's in reference to. Maybe like additions. Well, yeah, I know what you mean, but, like, I haven't heard anything about that. No, uh, I, well, I was asking, because you were saying that something was going around. Yeah, and that's not it. <laughs> uh, there's a D&D movie coming out. Oh, right, yeah. Honor Among Thieves, and it yeah. looks really cool. Uh, isn't the bard's name, like, a sex joke, though? I don't even remember. That's Obviously awesome. it is. He's a I bard. Was, yeah, that's true. I was too taken away. By how cool the creatures look, like the owl bear I, and the displacer beast and the the black dragon. Unfortunately, I had to block their Twitter account. Why? Because they promoted, promoted a, tweet. a tweet, and I saw it, and that's unacceptable. What are you fucking lemon grab from Adventure Time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No it's one can. Put, unacceptable. No one can just. Pay to put tweets on this timeline. Unless if they like pay you directly, I assume. If they pay me, they can put tweets on my timeline. <laughs> I'm getting no money for ads. Dude, That's if they put a, if they put a gem great worm in the movie, which they won't, but if they do, I'll lose my shit. Yo, wait. So hear me out. That's like a big worm under the ground, I assume. No. Damn, it's not. Worms yeah. are, it's spelled... Oh, right, worm with a Y, sorry. That's like a dragon. Yeah. It, it, sorry, I was like, oh my god, like a graboid from... No, no, no. I no, love them. It, it goes... No, that's, that's, that's age. Yeah, it, it, there's like a silver dragon and then silver great worm, worm and and then like the great worms are like just above the gods. Or just below, sorry. Just gonna be honest, I think like overly fucking detailed dragon classification is super dumb. 
Like, I'll, um, actually, uh, a wyvern isn't a dragon because it doesn't have... I don't care. Shut up. It's a dragon. If it looks like a dragon, it's probably oh, yeah. a dragon. I, sh- I-, I classify wyverns as a dragon. Okay, the, the fact that you say I classify, that means that there's a discussion, which there should not be. No, yeah, I agree. I'm just saying like, um, actually, like, Okay, sure, dragonborns aren't lizards because dragons are warm-blooded or something. That's cool, I guess. That's nice. That's that makes sense because that's that that could come up. Like, oh mm-hmm. well, should I be fucking affected by this? Because it's warm. It's for warm blooded people, and I'm a lizard. No, you're not. Just here. That's fine. But like, oh, this isn't a dragon. That's not useful. It's <sighs> okay. But great worms are cool. <laughs> Big lizard looking thing, dragon. And I think that's all the elaboration that should ever be added to that. Unless it's like a kaiju that isn't a dragon, like Godzilla or something. I wouldn't call Godzilla a dragon. Look, if, if it has the ability to fly, I guess. Well, no, no. Not that's... always. I, I call yeah, Bowser that's, a dragon. That's the issue with fucking... Okay, hear me out. Godzilla, it's got a breath weapon. Mm-hmm. But it's also Godzilla. <laughs> That's true. Which it's like, I know what okay, Godzilla Okay, well, is. okay. Godzilla, it's bipedal. Mm-hmm. And it, dragons are not bipedal. They might, they might only have, like... <sighs> no, I'm not saying, like, okay, a dragon doesn't have to have, like, two legs, or four legs, but... <laughs> It probably will be on four legs. Likely, yeah. If it's got fucking two legs, it's got bigger arms, I guess. Uh, and it's got wings, generally. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, generally thin and not so thick like Godzilla. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, like, Chinese dragons, they've got, I think, like, two arms, two legs. And but they don't got wings. They they like they, they They're something more that they fly. You know, with sure. like like in One Piece, where they grab clouds. Literally, Rayquaza. That's true, Rayquaza. He's just like the most recent One Piece villain. Anyway, I think we've been talking for quite a while, and I got some stuff to do before going to sleep and I'm tired <laughs> yeah. uh, so we good to wrap up for tonight you think that's like the Pokemon move that's true that exactly that thank you Esther bro I'm about to use Paris song and we're gonna die, all die in the next three turns or whatever Not watch this I'm gonna switch out I'm gonna I'm use bounce like magic carp we <laughs> my used volt switch get wrecked. Oh mind. damn! You, you, I'm about to use U turn. JK, I used Giga Drain. <laughs> but that means you're still gonna be hit by the Paris. <laughs> well, this this Pokemon, I love Pokemon. <laughs> sucking everyone, I'm sucking everyone off of their yeah, life. Yeah. Like Kirby. It was like That's Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. That's so true. It's like I'm poking a straw in your ass and sucking through it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Anyway. That's all the prank we got. Yeah. We're 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 out of stock. You guys. (laughs) In the next prank I show. You know it, baby. We'll prank you later. That's what I say. We'll prank you later. I'm going to prank your mom in the next prank episode. Wear your seatbelt.